Hello, children! My name's Ilir2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 with Integralist Brazil. Yes, in the last episode, as you could see, we pushed all the way up Mexico and made them capitulate. Now, it's finally time for a real war. The United States, they... It's gonna be tough. We have 182 brigades sitting around, ready to kill them. They have 288 to 526 brigades, which, of course, doesn't mean they're all in the United States. They probably have a lot, you know, in, in Africa. You know what? Never mind. I guess we don't have a lot in Africa. Um, I mean, they must have something somewhere, right? Maybe, maybe in Japan? No, they're at war. Uh, maybe down here? I don't, I don't know. May oh, you know what? Maybe they gave their people... No, they... Oh, crap. We may be fighting the whole United States here. Okay, so big problems, but, you know, we can handle it. Uh, now I'm actually going to cancel this whole thing. That just looks ugly. Border gore is disgusting. We're going to set it up to be like that. And we're going to want... Well, first of all, push that way through California and all the way up Texas. No, you know what? Let's stay behind this river and down to there. All right. I know that's not actually what Texas looks like, but you know what I mean. Basically, that's just a lot of important parts. We have, what is it, three victory points? Yeah, three victory points in Texas alone. Not many victory points anywhere else. You have Phoenix. And then you have... What area is this? Oh, San Diego. San Diego, LA, San Fran, and Sacramento. All right. And those are some important places. Now, since they only have 55% unity, that's really going to help in this war. But we have to make sure we can actually win these wars before we get a little bit too cocky. Why don't we have air superiority? Anywhere. No, we need to get air superiority in all areas. There you go. Good. All right. We, I do want you to launch. So just launch. Get ready. Go, go, go. We need to take this land back. Or I guess really it's just we're taking over more Mexican land. So we're not really taking it back so much. Yeah, but Texas, it seems as though Texas is a very easy fight right now. I don't know how or why, but it is very easy. We have a lot of people in these Mexican lands for some reason. Don't know why. Oh my god, Texas, what is up with that? Why is Texas, of all states, the easiest one to invade? It's harder to destroy than Mex- It's easier to destroy than Mexico, and that's saying something. I don't know. I guess this is a, a different reality. All right. So, you know what? Let's get some excavation because we're going to need a lot of that because that's probably why we're low on oil and steel and rubber and all that fun stuff. It's because we don't have enough excavation. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? This is Texas we're spe talking about here, people. They're, they've lost Texas. All right. Speaking of which, so what is their... What is it already? All right. They're already 6%. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. How many people have they lost? Probably not a lot. Oh, my God. They've lost 1.25 million? Holy shit. United States, what have you done? All right. Ace pilot promoted. Good. All right, so these Strat Bombers. Wait, is Strat Bomber the one I want, or is it Tack Bomber? All right, I, I did want Tack Bombers, but I'm pretty sure Strat Bombers can do the same thing. So, oh my, man, we have a lot of crap. Um, let's get those Strat Bombers out, and we're going to want, say, 200 of them. That's a lot for dropping nukes. Right, we're going to want 200 of them. Okay. And then we're just going to want them in the southwest strategically bombing, which is going to be attacking, you know, fortifications and stuff. 
which is good, because we want to kill those fortifications. Oh my god, we've taken over Texas. <laughs> that easily. Really, United States? It could have done at least a little bit better. I think the United States' is, um, armies are a little bit weak. I don't know why. Oh, we surrounded them. That is good. That is really good. Most of our army is in freaking Texas right now, for whatever reason. Okay, bases are in low supply, which sucks. But the more we take over, the more, more we have. Come on. This ain't good. Huh. You guys uh, taking that area? Yes, good. Alright. Do we need more freaking resources, really? Need more rubber, which is weird because we are a rubber creating machine. Oh, wow. We have a lot. Oh, that's probably because we took over like Texas and Mexico and stuff like that. But we have a lot more civilian factories. That's good. Ooh, the fall of Baku. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Are they about to fall? There's 85% they went up. Oh, shoot. That's not good. You guys gotta... Once the Soviets are down, we can probably really focus on... Wow, they're not invading France for whatever reason. If they did, that would really screw us up. But nope, not France. Oh, okay, now now you're moving into Louisiana without my say-so, so that's not good. Can we produce more? We can. 10, 15, 20, really? 25, holy crap. What are we getting? Infantry equipment, 2. Okay, we don't want that. We want actual 3, but whatever. We have to send them all the way back here. Oh, that hurts. Oh, another thing is we're probably getting a lot of resistance in Mexico. So, we're going to need some police. Let's get 20. 20 police. Pop them down there. When do they take out? Okay, so 15th of December. 9th of October. Why are these getting... These guys take less time than these guys? Why? Police are only two units and a military police. Maybe it's the military police. I don't know. Did the military police really take that long to create? Right. Yeah, we're still in limited conscription, and we are, still have almost 3 million in the back burners. That's great. That is really great. All right, United States, what are you at now? Uh, I know you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. United States, they're already 11% now. So once we start taking the big ones... Over in California, that that's really gonna hurt him. Freaking taking over. How are we taking over uh, Louisiana? I'm not even telling them to go to Louisiana. Oh, well, I guess it's because he's very aggressive. I don't know. Speaking of which, what level are you at? Right, so you're at six, and you're still very good. Can, can we see any other doctrines that you're about to get? Maybe you can only get two. Maybe that's maybe that's a thing. I don't know. All right. Seems Peru is coming up with their soldiers. Thank you, Peru. You still got ships. That's all you got. We have all your soldiers. If someone invaded Venezuela or Peru right now, we'd be really screwed because we have no one down there. Venezuela is protected, but not Peru. Wow. Is resistance seriously not growing? All right. Quick. Uh, quick look over here um we could really decrease resistance growth then the we increase manpower too but lose more factories yeah sure let's do that since we're not gonna be able to you know focus on them a lot make it the least amount of resistance as is possible All right, come on. Yes, we're pushing into California. Uh-oh. We have very low supply in the southwest now. Why? Oh, God. We're very, very low. Oh, wow. The south has a lot of these victory points, too. What is this? Uh, Biloxi, Mobile. Of course, New Orleans. New Orleans. Jeez, Missouri having freaking Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis. How are they all considered victory points? I understand they're major cities, but still, it's like, how can you consider 
every single one of those victory points. I would assume that just the capitals of those states would be victory points, but nope. Guess not. All right, so the southwest is secured, but the west coast is not. All right, these fighters, why don't you go up there? Right, southwest is still good. We're going to need some more... See, do we have close air support? Yes, we do. See, these close air support can be in the west coast. We can't reach the west coast. What? You're right there. How can you not reach it? Wait, give me, give it a sec. Just give it a sec. See if it's just glitching out on me for whatever reason. Yeah, we have taken over Louisiana. Somehow. Uh, somehow, some way. Right, Southwest somehow is still getting very low supply. I would assume since we've taken over basically all of California, uh, not California, Texas, that we would have more supply, but you know, whatever. I guess it's all cool. Again, these Rocky Mountains, really going to suck to take over. We're probably just going to ignore them. Probably going to push eastward up into D.C. and the rest of those victory points like Philadelphia, New York, and stuff like that. As long as we can hold this line, we can win. Lots of green all over. This, this is why you make sure all of your soldiers have amazing supplies. Like, ooh, rubber. More rubber. Always need more rubber. More military factories. Really? I guess we just took over something. Uh, some more infantry equipment. Yay. Whatever. And now we need more steel, of course. How many do we have? Yeah, okay, we have plenty of civilian factories now. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Oh my god, are did they, they stopped defending California for whatever reason. Oh, that's great. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Go. Go to Los Angeles. Go to San, San Fran. Take everything. Yes. Yes, more, more. What are we at now? Ooh, that was a big hit to the United States. We're now at 32% towards capitulation. Free dockyards. Of course, we have free dockyards. Let's get some convoys up in this yacht. More military factories already? Really? Is that is that the power of Los Angeles? I guess it is. Uh, more strat bombers. Why not? A ton more steel. Dear God. Where is... Where's all the steel? Oh my god, the oil. Alright, stop importing all that oil. Stop importing that. Uh, we really don't need to import anything at this point. Oh, uh, thank you, America. Alright, where's all the steel? I know America has lots of steel. Ugh, it's all up in the northeast, isn't it? Oh my god, the oil. The oil. Nevada has a ton of steel. Yep. Kentucky, no, not Kentucky. Tennessee is a ton of steel. We have freaking Kentucky with the uh, uh, rubber, and of course Philadelphia, or Pennsylvania. We uh, y you still taking stuff over? I hope you are. You're just rushing up to San Fran, aren't you? I mean, that's what I told you to do, but whatever. You know, why don't you just stop? Stop right there. Uh, our, our army is very unorganized. What are they at now? Holy... Are we winning a war against the United States somehow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Brazil is beating the crap out of the United States of America. That's happening. Oh, West Coast currently has a ton of enemy fighters. That's not good. Uh, uh, you can't go there, really. Uh, oh, but you can go into the Southwest, of course, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, whatever. Support more people in the Southwest. That's fine.
Holy crap, we're actually winning this war. We've obliterated the United States, man. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Heck, our name has moved out of Brazil and is now going into the United States. That is how badass we are. That is how badass we are. Of course, the war will not end here. We still have to take down the UK. Little bitches. UK is going to be uh, pretty complicated to take to take down. It's not going to be easy. Not going to be fun. This war has been a bloody one, but we'll make this count. Oh my God! How are they? How are they not? Maybe it's because of the supply limit. Because we've taken over so much, that's still like they're just losing so much. I don't know. And they just have no supply in the area. Okay, what's up with this? Oh. <gasps> Holy shit, holy shit. Ah, yay. Oh my god, the German Reich took over all, all of the Soviet Union. Holy shit. Look how far back Japan got pushed and it all just disappeared. Start not war with the common turn, which includes all of that, but no. I'd say the Axis have won this war. Congratulations, Germany. Congratulations. Now it's our turn to make the big boom. Big boom out of the United States. All right. So what can we take? We can actually take something. Wow. Uh, I don't even care. I'm, just, I'm done. Here, you go ahead. Let's see what happens. Peace conference is over. Oh my god. <laughs> Japan, you crazy. All right, so it seems Xiang Kong became Axis. Yep, yeah, and got split in half. And nationalist China, somehow. Why is China a thing? I don't know. Oh, and Tanutuva. Tanutuva National Nationalist Republic. All right, so there you go. The common turn have been destroyed, and Italy has taken random land here. I hate you, Italy, for doing that. Uh, Turkey. Turkey, are you even a... You're not even a um, fascist republic, though you are increasing somehow. Really? Nope. The Russian Empire. Russian Empire? Didn't even know that they were a thing now. Oh, they're down here. So, yeah, that's a fascist rep uh, Russia become a the Russian Empire don't change the flag sadly don't know why whatever let's focus on our war our success oh my god we're about to take over San Fran California is actually under our control Ooh, we have new we have a new airport great oh that is just fantastic oh my god Take over San Fran, son. San Fran, son. Sounds like an actual city. There we go. San Francisco under Brazilian control. Let's see this. 34% goes down to 43. That's 9% from that one, one area. Ooh, this is going good. Ooh, this is going good. This is actually a successful game I've played. Holy crap. This is, this is just beautiful. I mean, I've, I've had success before. Oh my god, Mexicans? We have Mexican armies. Hot dog. All right, so you know what? Just just cancel this whole thing. Everyone, just go ahead and cancel. This is the new front line. Oh yeah, we're going big here. Going big or going home. Wow. Okay, never mind. Uh, why don't we just... Ooh, you know what? We should probably ignore the Rocky Mountains. Right. Ignore the Rocky Mountains. Go down like this. Just just advance one more. Just to make it a coherent line. And then once we get into Great Plains, start going up. And then go all the way through Maryland. Boom. That's the new line. Launch. 
Good. Alright, now what do we need? Rubber. Rubber. Germany. Rubber, please. <sighs> I love taking over the United States. Don't you? We don't... I don't even think we need all those soldiers that we're creating. We just... We're just taking crap over without them. It's beautiful. Oh boy, Florida. The best state ever. Go through Miami. Go through there. Oh, this is an easy win. Easy win. I don't know how the United States is this crap. But, um, yeah. We're actually destroying them. Ooh, engineering Company 4. That's great for defense. Um, how is the nuclear react the nuclear bombs? 270 days. I think we can take over the United States before we get nuclear bombs. Yeah. Yeah, I said that. I don't know how, but we're going to do it. Keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, hey, Miami, you actually have soldiers. Oh my god, you actually had a lot of soldiers. Did you transport them there or something? Alright, well. That's gonna be a hard fight. We can do it. I believe in us. Okay, move down to there. Are you guys moving? You guys best be moving. Oh my god, we're slaughtering the United States. I know I've said that like 30 times, but... I mean, come on. Who would have thought Brazil, of all countries, takes down the United States of America? All right, East Coast. This is where they got their defense. All right, they have bombers and fighters and all the nine yards. All right, so we're going to need... Fighters. All right, fighters to Louisiana. Close air support. Yeah, but we still need people in the southwest. Ooh, that's not good. Well, we, we, we can hold them off, I think. Wow, they have a lot in Miami. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I wonder why. So, how much work? Have we? We've only done 14% of the work. Understandable. I mean, Germany did take over the entire Soviet Union. But still, oh god. We're going to need more over here. Right, thank you for coming in. Uh, you too. You as well. Oh, uh, God, the East Coast. 1,200 fighters. That's what I expected from the United States. Not not little tiny numbers as they've been playing. Oh, my God. The Russian Empire's up there. We have the Soviet, not the Soviets, the British in Leningrad. They're not defending their home front like idiots. Oh, my God, really? Actually, how many soldiers do you have? Because it could just be because you're overextending yourself. Never mind. 745 is plenty. You don't need to do this to yourself, you idiots. All right. Are we, why, why aren't we launching? Hello? Are, are, are we fighting? Maybe it's just too much for them to handle. Huh. Maybe. You know what? Let's just take you... It's gonna cancel everything. All right. Then we gon we gon take we gon take all y'all. Let's just cancel this line. We we'll take all y'all, and this is gonna be a front. I the Appalachian Mountains gonna suck, but we're gonna push all the way through here, all the way up this Michigan, this part of Michigan, down all the way. Through to there. Take over all the important pieces. You can launch easily. Oh, you can easily win that. Come on. <clears throat> Even with enemy air support, we slaughter them. Somehow. Alright, and... You guys can consist of this portion. You guys... Heck, you guys... <clears throat> Sorry, throat. You guys can easily take over the Rocky Mountains, I feel. So you know what? You guys can launch as well. Never mind. You're actually dying in a lot of places. 
And then, of course, there's you guys in the center. The Great Plains. Very easy to take over, I'm assuming. So we're going to go from here all the way to here. Launch. There you go. I mean, it's not it's no Rocky Mountains, I'll tell you that. All right. Yes, we're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning so hard. We're actually doing this somehow. All right, attack. There you go. There's that's the attack I wanted. It's the attack I always felt like I deserved. And of course, then you guys can move away. I'm surprised they're not trying any naval invasions. That would suck. Ooh, recons. Even better now. Okay, so now we got eight more freaking factories. Go crazy. We need steel. Germany, steel. And also, rubber. More research, too. Okay, um, get better MP. Excavation one. Good. I need an excavation. All right, and we're about to finish with formation flying. There we go. All right, so you guys can all be assigned to this front. All right, what is America at now? Ooh, they're 52%. Ooh, they're... I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, we have taken over like half the country, so... I mean, I wouldn't say this is exactly half the country, but it's pretty much half the country. And the freaking Nazis are coming in, being like, hey, we can help. Like, yeah, sure, whatever. Ooh, the Pax Americana. Really? Oh. Wow, the United States are now enforcing the Monroe Doctrine much stricter. You, um... <clears throat> You, you sure there, bud? You really sure there, bud? Because, um... I don't think... We, we may struggle to find allies in the Americas now. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> you sure? You really sure that uh, you can... You, you can take me over or at least, you know, intervene in these wars? Because, um... I feel like you're a little late to the party here, bud. A little bit late. I wonder, Canada... Oh yeah, all your soldiers are still probably in here. As, uh, expeditionary forces. Oh, America. You still think you're strong. How wrong... And you don't even know how wrong you are. How horribly, horribly wrong. I just remembered. These 25. Uh... Yeah, all, all 25 of you. Uh, there. Right, that's how you do it. And then a sign up there. Move out. That'll, that'll really help push into the major cities. Really, all these others, I think... Ooh, Yugoslavia. Good. Benito Mussolini. Good job, Mussolini. Uh-oh. United States. Really? Really, the United States? Really, U.S.? Are you actually trying that while this is happening to your country? Good job. R really good job. <laughs> Fantastic work, United States. 10 out of 10. Oh, that's adorable. Truly. We still don't have air superiority in the East Coast. I don't think we ever will. But, again, fine. That's fine. Still need a lot more steel. A lot more steel. Still trying to rebuild all this crap. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen, though. Very little resistance in uh, Mexico, for whatever reason. Oops, Southwest is getting low supplied, for whatever reason. Huh. Not going as quickly as I'd hoped, but it's still happening. It is still happening. Why is there three... There's that one. That one's way too big. That's weird. Whatever. As long as it helps us destroy the Americans, I'm A-OK. -okay. 
All right, we've done only 16% of the work. Only 16%. Oh, we have about the same amount of people they do now. Oh, ho, ho. America has met its match. Met its match. All right, it seems all of California is now under our control. Yeah, it seems the West Coast is basically secured now, but really the East Coast is all that matters. It's all that matters. And we're getting that 25 up here. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Oh my god. We're going to win the game. We're going to beat the United States down to a pulp. And then move on to Canada. And then we're going to have to move on to the United Kingdom. Probably send some planes over here. Pair drop some in London. Take them out. And then the war is over. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya 2. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.